So um, Windows, I'm going to talk some more about Windows. And let me just start by asking some questions. I'm going to show you some problems and uh, let's see if we can see what's wrong with these situations. So first of all, uh, what's wrong with what's wrong with this? And um, what's wrong with this? This was a, a, a large public building with a lot of windows and what's wrong? Um, and how about this one? Uh, what's wrong with the uh, What's wrong with the, we, these are all windows. What's wrong with the windows in this picture? Um, so we've got um, insulation stuffed in the middle of the frame. We've got these windows in the middle and we've got those windows on the house there. While you're thinking about what's wrong, let me go through the uh, calculation we looked at before. We were trying to work out, we were trying to calculate the U value for a window. Uh, luckily, this is something you don't usually have to do, um, but it's useful to know how to do it or how you might try and do it. Um, so we have um, the glass is uh, three millimeters of glass, then um, six millimeters of air gap in the middle, then another three millimeters of glass. Uh, we've got a frame and um, I think the frame is a rectangular section of a two millimeter thick aluminium. Um, in a rectangle with air in the middle. Um, when we are doing the calculations, um, because aluminium conducts much, much better than air, we can basically ignore the air for the calculations, which makes it a little bit easier. Um, so here are the thermal conductivities. Um, and that's the uh, surface resistance on the inside. That's the surface resistance on the outside. So we have to remember when we have a window, um, the window is also stopping air on each side. So that's gonna have an effect on the insulation performance. Um, these are all the equations we've got. So first of all, let's try and work out the window dimensions. Um, we've got, um, these are the inside dimensions, the dimensions of the glass and the dimensions of the frame. So the window is the glass and the frame, um, and we need to work out the area of the glass and the area of the frame. Um, just a, another hint is that the frame area, the area of the total window is the area of the glass plus the area of the frame. So we don't need to work out the area of the frame, we can just get the whole window and then minus the glass, which just makes things a bit easier. Uh, so let's look at the glazing then. Um, that's the glass, three millimeters of glass, the resistance, the R value, and the R value of the air um, is uh, six millimeters. Um, and we can add this together to get the R value for the glazing, for the glass part of the window. Um, we can also put the, um, we can put the surface resistance in there. Um, and that's a, that's an R value for the glazing. Uh, that's fairly easy. Just a simple um, simple layers that we're adding up the layers. So we're adding up the resistance. Um, we can turn that into a U value, which comes to about two point three. Uh, so um, uh, we can look at three layers. Layer A and C are just aluminium, and layer B. Um, has some air as well. Uh, so the the um, as we may not be surprised, um, the U value for the aluminium is very very high. It's a very thin layer of aluminium, and the heat is just going to go straight through it. Um, layer B, we can ignore the air. So effectively, this is just a thinner. It's going through. It's still going through aluminium but it's only four millimeters of aluminium rather than um, 40 millimeters. Um, so we're gonna get a smaller U value. Uh, it's still pretty high. Um, it's still not anywhere near what we would call insulation. Um, so we can then put these um, into series and we get um, a very low R value, a very high, U value. 
Um, that's looking at, that's calculating them in parallel first. Uh, we may get a different value um, if we do them in series first. Um, and in this case, we can look at the, the rows, three rows, um, one, two, and three. Uh, row one and three are the same, and we've got aluminium, we've got a thickness of aluminium, and we can work out the um, we can work out the U value for those fairly easily. Um, and row two, we're we're basically saying that uh, that air is um, a much better insulator than aluminium. So let's just say there's no heat going through there. All the heat's going through the aluminium. Um, so the U value is zero. Of course, it's not really zero. Um, so we look at the um, the ratio of the area, and we get something like sixty eight. Um, these two numbers, the um, the U value calculating this way, the U value calculating that. There's a big difference between these two numbers. Um, they we don't have a very reliable idea of what the number is, um, but let's just put it somewhere between the two. Um, the other thing as well is don't forget surface resistance. Now, the surface resistance is going to be much, much bigger, uh, whichever of these numbers we choose. Um, the It's basically surface resistance is the only thing that's stopping heat around the frames. Um, so that's something like um, 5.6 for the um, U value of the frame. So we can then look at the area of the frame and the area of the glass, and we can work out um, that's the glass area, and the glass is something like 77%. Um, the frame, the window, the, the area of the window is the area of the frame plus the area of the glass. So we can work out the area of the frame is window area minus glass area, which comes to um, about 23%. Um, so we just can do a quick check here that we've got the calculations right. 23 plus 77 is 100. It adds up to 100%, which is always good. And so um, we can put these all together and we get um, around... So the, the glass is doing better than the frame, and it comes to something like three watts per square meter Kelvin. Um, I don't think we can really give a more accurate answer than three. It's around three. Uh, this would be the same as one centimeter of XPS, same as five centimeters of wood, the same as 18 centimeters of concrete, just to compare the performance of the glass with what you might have in the walls. Um, a few things to notice on this. One of them is that the uh, the frame makes a big difference. So if you have a bad frame, um, it's going to lose a lot of heat and the performance of the windows is going to go down. Um, and the in pretty much any wall that you can think of um, is going to have more insulation than your windows if you put in a little bit of effort. Um, so it's um, the, the U value of the windows is usually much worse than the walls if you put serious amounts of insulation in. Um, so if we're thinking then about low energy windows, um, how would you make these windows better? What can you do? And um, which materials are good and bad for making windows? And um, why, why, why are they good? Why are they bad? Um, I'll let you go away and think about that. And see you soon.